Nagaland, home to the Nagas, is a beautiful highland country with rugged mountains. Hilltops studded with villages. Prominent churches perched on the highest points. Narrow slopes, deep valleys, dense forests and rushing streams. Nagaland, located in the far east corner of India under the sub-Himalayan region, is close to the Burma and China border. It is a small state and its colorful ethnic tribal people contribute to the rich diversity of India. The people inhabiting this beautiful land are themselves colorful, hardy, warlike people known traditionally for their honesty, faithfulness and courage. For many centuries, the Nagas were an isolated people, not open to the outside world, satisfied with their own culture, myths and legendary stories. The Nagas were a primitive people, they were warlike and they were headhunters. In Naga lore, headhunting was associated with martial prowess. According to Mrs. Mary Clark, wife of pioneer missionary Dr. Clark, in 1875, quote, The highest type of glory which the Nagas formerly had any conception of was bravery and success in war. Unquote. An animistic people, the Nagas revered and worshipped the elements of nature around them. Their daily lives were encircled with superstitious fears and taboo. For Nagas, introduction to Christianity was a new experience of peace, hope, love and the future in Christ. It freed them from fear. In 1872, American Baptist missionary Reverend E. W. Clark baptized the first Naga headhunter converts, nine of them, the first fruits of faithful labor by his Assamese Indian assistant, Godula. Subsequently, much against the advice of the U.S. home mission, Reverend Clark and wife moved into the dangerous Naga Hills. Upon his arrival in the Naga Hills in December 1872, 15 more Nagas were baptized by Clark. Thus began the evangelization of the Nagas from headhunters to being church planters. Reverend Clark was followed later by a host of American missionaries who worked along with local Naga evangelists ever reaching outwards to other neighboring non-Christian Naga tribes. The American missionary J.E. Tenquist in 1936 referred to the use of a Naga mission to distinguish it from the Assamese field and the Garo field under the American Baptist mission. The origin of the Nagaland Baptist Church Council can be traced to 1935. Missionaries like J.E. Tenquist and others were behind this plan of a united Naga Baptist Church for fellowship and solidarity of witness. According to a consolidated view of M. Savino, L. Kijung Luba and Longri Ao, the Naga Hills Baptist Church Advisory Council was organized at Tenquist Bungalow on 5th April 1937. From the first Naga Hills Baptist Convention held in 1938 at Kohima, confirmed the fact that a Naga Hills Church Advisory Council 1937 and a Naga Christian Convention 1938 had been organized. These can be taken as the foundations of the Nagaland Baptist Church Council in its preparatory stages. Counting from that year, therefore, NBCC has now completed 75 years, the Platinum Jubilee year. The Naga Baptist Church Council as such was reorganized only in 1953 and later functioned as a full-fledged organization from 1960 under a constitution laid down to guide its working. Later after the inauguration of Nagaland State in 1963, the name was amended and regularized to the Nagaland Baptist Church Council, NBCC. In the late 1950s, out of much suffering and adverse political circumstances, till the early 1980s, there was a revival which swept across Nagaland. Thousands of people turned to Christ as Lord and Savior. The zeal for the Lord and missions grew among the people which remains to this day. Today, overwhelming majority of Nagas are Christian, consisting of all denominations, with Baptists being the majority. Earlier, the question of a full operation of the Council also came into the 1958 session. It was then voted that three secretaries be appointed for the three districts of the time 
Kohima Mokokchung and Twinsang, and an executive committee comprising seven members were elected. The next year, in 1959, three secretaries, El Kijung Luba, Longri Ao, and Mahalie Peseye, were appointed to promote the work of the council with a view to developing it into an effective working body from 1960. The budget allocation of 1959 indicated these following 14 tribal associations in the membership list of the council. Now that an organization with a definite constitution, including secretaries and several committees, was in existence, it was decided that some form of local funding and contribution should come from the member association and churches. At the council meeting at Kohima, November 1959, the post of the executive secretary was created with its headquarters to be located at Kohima. Kenneth Kerhuo was unanimously elected to be the first executive secretary and started functioning on a full-time capacity from 1960. He served the council and helped build its organization into full stature. NBCC has the following constituent departments. Other NBCC constituent departments are the Nagaland Missions Movement and the Nagaland Development Outreach NDO, both based in Dimapur. The Council began to strengthen its network outside by becoming a constituent member of the Council of Baptist Churches CBCNEI, in Northeast India as well as a member of the Asian Baptist Federation and Baptist World Alliance. At the annual session of 1967, the Nagaland Baptist Women's Union was officially represented for the first time by its officers Mrs. J. Savino as President and Ms. L. Noksangchila as Secretary. The Nagaland Baptist Women's Union was thus organized in the early part of 1967 and became the women's wing of the Council. NBCC Women Department exists to promote unity and fellowship among the churches of Nagaland. It also strives to appropriately address social and moral issues that threaten the well-being and welfare of the society. NBCC Women Department also reaches out to the underprivileged and destitute women and children through the Miklat Ministry to enable them to live a dignified life and be a voice for the voiceless. The socio-political involvements of the Council can be seen as under prohibition of liquor, election, and peace. The Council has also initiated the clean election campaign from 2011 and renewed efforts are being made to create awareness. Nagaland Christian Youth Movement was organized in 1971 by bringing together the different youth societies such as Christian Youth Endivia, Baptist Youth Fellowship, Christian Youth Fellowship and so on. But a youth department of the Council as such was created only on February 1981 with J. Tumtamo as its first full-time youth secretary. The NBCC Youth Department strives to nurture and mentor young people. NBCC Youth launched the True Love Waits movement, which encourages young people to live a responsible life of purity. Sports has also been identified as an instrument of bringing the youth together and instilling in them discipline and leadership qualities while using sporting events. The mission wing of the Council can be traced to 1960 as the NBCC Home Mission Board. In 1971, with a view to covering both the whole nation and foreign mission work, the name was changed to Nagaland Missions Movement. Nagaland Missions Movement coordinates local churches in home and foreign missions. The field is the world, is its team. Number 1. India NMM has access to reach every state and people group of India with the Gospel. NMM also sends out missionaries abroad, starting from neighboring countries of Southeast Asia like Myanmar, Cambodia, Thailand, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Vietnam, Laos, Malaysia, Indonesia, Sri Lanka, Nepal, to others like Japan, China and Africa. Nagaland Missions Movement also works with different missions agencies at a national and international level to send out more missionaries from the churches. Go out there, touch people, touch nations, and change lives. Nagas, rise up to God's calling and you will see wondrous things happen because God has chosen you as a people for His purpose. 
Naga Christian Fellowships or NCFs across India. There are thousands of Naga students and working people in cities and towns of India worshipping in these NCFs across India. And because English is the medium of communication and worship, these NCFs become international fellowships where people from other countries including Americans, Koreans, Europeans, etc. worship together. NBCC made further progress in providing chaplains in major cities such as Delhi, Pune, Bangalore to care for the spiritual needs of Naga students. These chaplains are now known as pastors and several of these Naga Christian fellowships are self-supporting churches. Education became one of the primary concerns of the council from the very beginning. With the mushrooming of Baptist English schools or similar church schools all around Nagaland, a board of Christian education was formed to supervise these schools. Later Christian English school at Dimapur, from 1974 it came under the management of the council. The Patkai Christian College was established at Chumugidima near Dimapur, and the NBCC became one of the major sponsoring bodies. In addition to vernacular Bible schools in the associations, NBCC is also one of the sponsoring members of the Clark Theological College at Aulichan, established in the memory of the first American Baptist missionary to Nagaland. The Council continued to use education as a tool to imbibe Christian values and this led to the setting up of the Oriental Theological Seminary in 1993. Many of the member associations began to establish and manage Baptist schools to provide quality education and to lay the foundation of Christian principles. The NBCC also impressed upon the government of Nagaland to introduce scripture and related Christian literature into the school curriculum. This was approved by the government later. Presently, NBCC Education and Communication Department covers three areas, namely school ministry, children ministry that is Sunday school, further children's programs, children's worship, triennial conference for Sunday school teachers under children's ministry. Under the communications ministry, media and arts including choreography, NBCC newsletter, producing DVDs and VCDs for children's ministry, and a TV program called Encounter for Doordashan were being produced. In 1998, the Council commissioned the Nagaland Development Outreach, the development wing of the Council. Out of its numerous activities, some examples of NDO's ministry are HIV AIDS program come care center for 500 plus clients, training and sensitization of all church leaders of Nagaland on HIV AIDS issues, providing education and support to children living with HIV AIDS, promoting self-help groups with the support of Baptist Union of Denmark. Most of these self-help group activities are in livestock and agri-related fields. Along with the State Bank of India, NDO opened customer service points for 114 villages with a population of more than 2,000 across Nagaland. The NDO has also initiated seminars and workshops on youth leadership and development, theology of development and other socio-economic development trainings. Nagaland is a predominantly Christian area and Naga serving in the armed forces and the police are all Christians. The NBCC began to place chaplains and pastors in churches that served in pockets where the uniformed personnel and their families were stationed. Thus, the police Baptist churches in Nagaland later on became one of the associations under the umbrella of the council. Similar forms of chaplaincy for hospitals and jails have been made by the NBCC. A major achievement was the placement of a chaplain to the State Assembly to serve and minister to the Chief Minister of Nagaland and his parliamentary colleagues. The NBCC continued to develop a strong relationship with the Baptist World Alliance. Members of the NBCC were placed in various commissions and committees of the BWA. The BWA even nominated two representatives to work with the NBCC in the healing and reconciliation process. The NBCC signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the Baptist Union of Denmark and the Church of Christ in Thailand. The NBCC also entered into partnership with Asia Pacific Federation, particularly in Emerald Hope, a post-tsunami rehabilitation project in the Andaman Islands of India. During national and international crisis, 
NBCC has made an effort to reach out and provide assistance, whether in ERISA, post-cyclone relief, Japan, tsunami and earthquake, or flood-affected Thailand. The second Saturday of March has been set aside as the Nagaland Day of Prayer and Fasting. This day continues to be observed with legislators, bureaucrats, ordained ministers and church leaders participating in this annual program. In a nutshell, Nagaland Baptist Church Council has a great role to play in helping the people as well as reaching out to the world, for which we need a good infrastructure in the area of education, in the area of health, and also especially in mission, so that we will be capable of reaching out to the people, for which we are working out towards the partnering and the networking with different organizations. So we invite your partnership with us so that together we can reach out to the world. Today, NBCC has 20 full-fledged associations and four associate members. The Council is a product of God's blessing and the contribution of a host of dedicated servants of God, both American and Naga, men and women of God. The Platinum Jubilee celebration is a testimony of God's mighty work among the many Naga tribes and His faithfulness to a people called out from darkness. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for He is good. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for He is good. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for He is good. His love endures forever. His love will reign forevermore. His power will reign forevermore. His grace will 